the tragic life of Beethoven, the famous deaf composer, on March 26th, 1827. I'm Marie Loudon of the Fulton Neuroscience Institute. Many researchers have explored how Beethoven's deafness affected his ability to hear music, how he tried to amplify it with ear trumpets, to feel it by using legless pianos, and to see it by scribbling all over his scores. But were they missing the point? Let's imagine we're attending one of his later concerts. Here's Beethoven, conducting the debut of his newest symphony, even though he has become profoundly deaf. As the orchestra plays, his music lights up your brain, and our lab knows exactly where because we have scanned hundreds of people listening to music and converted those results into individualized 3D brain maps, like this one. But Beethoven is so deaf that as his masterpiece concludes triumphantly and the musicians stop playing, the historical reports say, Beethoven keeps conducting. Freeze. Obviously, he is hearing something, but not through his ears. Could it be an auditory memory? We can map those two, and with such precision that I was able to locate a memory of my dad playing Happy Birthday on the saxophone when I turned nine. But wait, Beethoven can't be hearing an auditory memory because this symphony is brand new. It's a debut. So instead, he must be tapping into many auditory memories, like pitches, chords, and instrument textures, and then combining them with real-time variables, such as his conducting tempo, and finally enhancing all of this with such a vivid musical imagination that it triggers a climax of thunderous music in his head. Yes, Beethoven heard his music. But did anyone else hear it exactly as he imagined? The only way to know for sure would be to map Beethoven's brain in this moment and sonify, uh, make auditory, Beethoven's musical brainstorm. Please give a round of applause to our Beethoven reenactor, Trevor McGuire. Trevor is not only an actor, but also a classical pianist. So working with him, we actually have begun sonifying musical brainstorms using these individualized wearable neural headsets. With mine, I was able to sonify that memory of my dad playing happy birthday, but my sadness warped it. So dad's warm, jazzy sax sounded like a dying foghorn. With Trevor's, we sonified his favorite classical music, but his enthusiasm for it gave it a club beat. <laughs> Auditory memories can be blurry, just like visual memories, but with practice, a paralyzed pianist could perform again using only their brain. So, with this extra headset, my plan was to ask for a volunteer, but the speaker scheduled after me is like Beethoven, a composer who became deaf, and he's often referred to as Broadway's Beethoven. 
So, are you willing to try this, Mr. J. Allen Zimmerman? Oh. Uh. Hi, I'm Marie. Hi. Is it time for my talk on music visualizers? Not yet, Jay. You betcha. Great. <laughs> Great. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh. Wonderful um. talk. Wonderful. 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 Uh, <laughs> I, I missed a few words, so congrats to your dad, or sorry. It looks like he's using the modern version of Beethoven's conversation books. It's not time for your talk. It's time for your talk. Oh, got it. I just need to adjust my mark and pull it my... Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> Music visualizers tend to be thought of as a recent development. But in reality, the only representations of music we have prior to the invention to re recorded sound are visual. When the ancient Sumer... Jay, uh, I want to sonify your brain. Uh, it's a captioner here or interpreter. I'll text you. Oh, thank you, Beethoven. I just feel like we should be clear when it involves my head. Sit here while I uh, prep the personalization software. Understand? Oh, sonify my brain. <laughs> In front of all these people? Don't worry, I made her edit out all sexual thoughts. That's wise. Very wise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. This preliminary hum means that we're ready to receive your brainwaves. Uh, can I ping, pull, like, pull up a visualizer so I have some clue what you're hearing? Uh, sure. Thumbs up? Yeah, sure. Thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to start with a simple oscilloscope visualizer, which is telling me this hum is apparently a quiet, low pitch with a round tone. It sounds like an 80s synth bass just stuck on one note. Oh. I need to turn you into an app. <laughs> now, Jay, yeah. you, like Beethoven, grew up hearing, correct? Yes. So, to construct your brain map, I need you to start with simple auditory memories, simple non-musical sounds from childhood, like a knock on the door. You hearing that? Yes. <gasps> a clock, a knock, a drawer shuts. Can I stand? It's wireless. Hear the hall clock tick tock on the bedroom door, knock knock. And my mama says bye bye and leaves me home alone. Car door slam. The room running down the stairs. Sneakers flip, they flop in the kitchen sink. There's a tricky to drop. Clink goes a spoon. I choose from a microphone. I want to sing like wow to the living room. Click goes the light switch. Swish go the drapes. Make a dot like a theater. That's how this kid escapes. Gotta turn on a spotlight. Fluorescent piano light coming, coffee table set for drumming. Oh, I feel a song coming tonight. We're gonna play, play the living room band when the nuts jump, pop, slam, turn it to jam. We're gonna play, play the living room band when the nuts jump, snap, clap, funky double clap. <laughs> Club beats again? <laughs> it's not me. No dancing, Beethoven. Here comes the guitar. Oh. oh, stop. We haven't 
from the pitch matching yet. No, awesome. uh. no it's like Metallica killing Madonna. It, what? Thumbs down. Jay, shh, relax. Relax, Jay. Shh. Oh. Bring us back to your living room. Simple, gentle sounds like tapping. Tapping on a piano bench. Oh. Now we are going to use Trevor on the piano for pitch matching. I'm going to tune you up. Oh, switching to a piano spectrogram visualizer. <laughs> Trevor's headset doubles as a musical brain receptor, placing Jay's pitches that he imagines directly into Trevor's brain. And he will play the pitches as if he thought of them. Do you follow? Your brain, my body. So basically, whatever you imagine, Trevor will do instantly. Anything? Any music. <laughs> Jay, Jay, shh, relax. You're a kid sitting at your living room piano. Simple, single tones first. Low D, D, F, treble clef, minor scale. Major. Funk it up! Playing a bass with a womp womp Kicking drums with a stomp stomp Spinning grooves from the high fi Scratching and dreaming Smacking the piano finger Tripping about remembering the bullies I've been flipping about Banging out the pain That put me in the too dark mood Bang off the anger Splat off the rage Let it out on the furniture Get it up on its stage. Funky fuzzy bass riffin' Lay the piano clutch to different tunes And rising up and lifting All right! We gonna play, play The living room band With the knocks up, hop, slam Burn in the jam We gonna play, play The furniture band With the bang, clang, smack, whack Stop on and back We got a bang, bang, smack, whack Knock, up, hop, slam Snap, tap, clap Did I forget a minute? We get him in a trap, in a trap, in a trap, in a trap And got a bang, 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 bang me out of this trap, bang me out of this trap, bang me out of this trap Bang me to try mind sonified vocals. Oh my God, what an exciting scientific opportunity for analysis. Are you okay? Jay, my neural net is ready to be a brain receptor. Please add a little uh, <clears throat> soprano. But I can't control my- I'm not scared. Bring it on, man. <laughs> but, but vocal cords aren't visible like piano keys, and I can't hear sopranos at all, so what if I have totally... Switch visualizers. Switch it all up. Do whatever you want. Well, um, maybe if I bring up a um, vocal helioscope visualizer, mm -hmm. one that I can... Um, yeah. I I can stand close to the image if that helps. Ready? No, <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> but I already ripped open my soul, so. Um. All right. When I activate our connection, share with us through your mind music what a soprano might sing. How do you feel in this moment? Uh. 
Sorry, it's sorry, it's sorry. God, I'm thinking of the words and notes, and you're singing them now. Oh. together, dude. Pull it together, dude. Oh, dude. to O'Rourke.
I hope it's okay if we skip my talk.